now. Welcome to Newswatch 12 at 6. I'm Nate Myhock. We'll get to those stories in just a minute. But first, we have seen a decent amount of snowfall in the past couple of hours. And Jeff, I know it's going to get some more coming our way and get even colder coming up. What, what do you got on the dock? Hey, here? Nate. Yeah, the light snow and flurries out there now will run through tonight. This winter weather advisory is in effect through about sunrise tomorrow morning. Four really snow covered roadways tonight into early parts of tomorrow. Here's the snow out there now. And again, there's nothing heavy in here, but there are a couple pockets of moderate snow that will last for a couple more hours around here. So expect slippery going tonight into tomorrow with the snow falling out there now and it looks like this here in Stevens Point on campus the snow is falling again visibility is okay about a mile and a half or so in point right now uh, so overall nothing heavy out there but still enough snow to kind of slow you down tonight and future cast shows the snow getting out here tonight and then by tomorrow this is about midday tomorrow sunshine returns tomorrow with the colder high temperatures basically in 20s so tonight though snowfall wise we're looking like this so maybe another inch and a half to two inches of snow again we can definitely deal with this but then the really cold stuff arrives for us tomorrow afternoon our forecast then for tonight though is mostly cloudy skies some light snow and flurries out there with low temperatures down near 15 your full forecast is coming up nate Thank you, Jeff. And it's perfect timing for that snow as Oneida County and Forest County open their snowmobile trails today, which joins Vilas and Florence counties. However, other Northwoods County trails remain closed. Iron County will open their trails tomorrow at 8 a.m. Price County trails will open Friday morning at 8 and Northern Lincoln County trails are anticipated to open this weekend, but we have yet to receive word on when Langlade or Marathon County trails will be open. Yesterday, it was determined that Christopher Anderson, the man accused of killing Rhinelander native Hannah Miller, will go on trial next summer. Jury selection for the trial is scheduled to begin on August 15th. Anderson has been charged with first-degree intentional homicide, and he has pleaded not guilty. Four people were killed and at least three others, including a police officer, were wounded in a shooting spree throughout Colorado on Monday. It happened in the Denver and Lakewood areas. The suspect involved in the shooting was also shot and killed. Police believe that the same suspect was involved in all of the shootings and that there is no further danger to the public. An investigation is currently underway. Across Wisconsin, hospital beds are reaching capacity and doctors, nurses, and other staff are being stretched thin. As COVID-19 continues to spike, many healthcare systems are seeing a surge yet again. On Tuesday, UW Health Chief Quality Officer Jeff Pothoff cautioned that if this trend continues, they may not have space nor staff needed to care for the number of patients that they are getting. We are absolutely conditioned to think that if something bad happens to me, I can go to a hospital and they take care of it for me. Uh, and I think what we're saying is in the direction that we're heading, uh, that may not be a true statement uh, in the next couple of weeks if we don't slow things down. Dr. Potoff also pointed out that as hospitals fill up, people facing other illnesses or injuries will have a harder time getting the treatment that they need. UW Health continues to urge people to get vaccinated against COVID-19, as well as get their flu shot as soon as possible. A new report published in the Journal of the American Medical Association finds people with immune dysfunction are at a higher risk for a breakthrough infection. Researchers looked at about 660,000 patients who received at least one dose of a COVID vaccine, and those who were immunocompromised had a much higher risk of contracting breakthrough cases of COVID. However, the study also proves full vaccination was associated with reduced risk of breakthrough cases, regardless of the immune status of the patient. The research suggests people with immune dysfunction should continue to use face masks along with alternative vaccine strategies such as additional vaccine doses or immunotesting even after being fully vaccinated. Doctors across the nation are reacting to new CDC guidelines, which cuts in half the time people with COVID need to isolate. Some are saying it's too short, and today there's renewed concern about how COVID could affect younger people. NBC's Chris Pallone reports. With new daily COVID cases in the U.S. reaching all-time highs, staff at many hospitals across the country are at a breaking point. People are tired. It's been a really tough two years. 
The CDC, seeing worker shortages develop in many key business sectors, has issued new recommendations for people who test positive, letting a patient leave isolation in five days instead of ten if the person doesn't have any symptoms, requiring them to wear a mask everywhere for five more days. You want to make sure that particularly among essential workers that you get people out there much sooner. But some fear the sick will be back out in public too quickly and spread COVID to others. I've had patients who have had rapid antigen tests positive even beyond the 10 day period. So it begs the question, how will we know what this infectious period really is in order to be safe to return people to work? The Omicron variant surge has renewed concerns about how COVID affects young people. New York City has seen hospitalizations of children rise nearly 400% this month. We need to care about our children enough to vaccinate them, care about them enough to mask them. Health officials say the vast majority of people being treated in the nation's intensive care units are the unvaccinated. In Arkansas, doctors are having a hard time convincing some to get immunized because of politics. People view getting vaccinated as being on one side or the other when it's really a public health issue. A public health issue with no end in sight. Chris Pallone, NBC News, Washington. A man in Anago has turned his fascination with firearms into a business. Little Creek Firearms and Gunsmithing is owned and operated by Nathan Scheel. His store is in downtown Anago, although it started out of his garage. Scheel repairs, maintains, and even makes firearms. And he says he grew up around guns and always considered hunting to be a major part of Northwood's culture. When I was 12, we, my dad and I, it was expected you went hunting for the family because we had nine mouths to feed in total. So I really developed a love and passion for firearms during that 12 to 18. And he does say his favorite part is learning the history behind the guns that he works on. Listening to the stories that are behind them and working on them, especially, you know, guns that have been passed down generation to generation and listening to the stories that are behind them is, is fantastic. He opened his new store in late November and store hours are Monday through Friday from eight to six. Today, state officials in Virginia jumped back in time to 1887. A time capsule left in the pedestal of a Robert E. Lee statue was opened on Tuesday. We'll show you what was inside. That's next on Newswatch 12 at 6. I have something for you. Hi. <laughs> I have something for you, too. Get 2,000 purchase cash on 2021 Sierra Light Duty Crew Cab models. Plus, current eligible GMC owners get an additional 250 purchase allowance. We are professional grade GMC. Northland Basement Systems is the all things basementy company. Basement waterproofing, basement finishing, basement structural repair, humidity and mold control, and nasty crawl spaces too. When it comes to basement solutions, nobody does it better than we do. Since 1991, homeowners just like you in the Northland have trusted Northland Basement Systems for all things basementy in their homes. Call Northland Basement Systems today to schedule a free home evaluation. It's the final days of the Ford Get Holiday Ready sales event. Your last chance to get the best deals of the year on Ford F-Series. America's number one selling trucks for 44 years straight. Only a few more days to save on our full lineup of Ford SUVs. Hurry in. It's the final days of the Ford Get Holiday Ready sales event. Now get an edge with 0% financing for 60 months plus 1,500 bonus cash. See your Wisconsin and UP Ford dealers today. The Northwoods can be a hotbed of severe weather. To stay up to the minute on when and where storms will hit, tune in to the weather team you can count on. Weather Watch 12. Chief Meteorologist Jeff Weller and Meteorologists Devin Biggs and Andrew Keycaper break down severe weather live on WJFW, Facebook Live, and the WJFW Weather app so you and your family can be prepared and safe from severe weather. Weather Watch 12. From where you live.
life in a northern town. It's amazing out there and about to get even better as we have some really cold air on the way that will set the trails and the lakes beginning this weekend. And with the snow on top of it today, that just doesn't get much better, right? As we have lots of snowfall today and ending overnight tonight. Looking outside currently, there's a little bit of light snow in the area, right? This is nothing heavy in here, but it is persistent. So expect several more hours of some light snow in the area tonight that will begin to add up to two, three inches inches or so uh, by early parts of tomorrow morning. Here's visibility. So this is where you can see exactly where the snow is falling the heaviest at the surface and anything less than a quarter mile is heavy snow. A half mile is moderate snow and nobody really has that right now across our area. So this is all light snow. It's not really adding up very quickly at all. We can get through this just fine, but just know if you're heading out tonight, uh, it's going to be slow going for several hours this evening. Future cast shows though the snow getting out of here really fast tonight. Uh, here we are about midnight or so. Look, it's already gone basically. And then we have some clear skies in the forecast for tomorrow. That's going to bring the sun out. That's going to make for very bright conditions across the Northwoods tomorrow afternoon. All right, so here we go. Additional snowfall looks something like this. Another inch to two inches across the area as the system begins to pull out of here this evening. So with that said, we've certainly been through heavier snowfalls, but this one is doing what it's supposed to do with a widespread two to four inch snowfall across the area. All right, here's the big system. If you watched me yesterday, uh, there was a map very similar to this, right? With double barrel lows across the Great Lakes. Uh, it's doing it all over again, kind of a one two punch with the snow. But these are quickly moving to the northeast, getting out of here and behind it, high pressure build in. And then this system over here uh, causing all sorts of issues across the west coast. But that one will likely go to our south on New Year's Day, bringing southern Wisconsin and maybe northern Illinois a heavy snow. But for us, it should leave us alone. Otherwise, though, temperatures are going to take a crash for weeks now. Cold, cold, cold across the U.S. border into Canada. That is beginning to kind of wind down our way. Here are the temperatures now across the Dakotas. A uh, piece of this is coming our way beginning as soon as tomorrow. A cold front is going to come through through the afternoon. After briefly hitting 21 tomorrow, it's going to crash through the afternoon into the teens by tomorrow night. And then really much colder air gets in here Saturday, Sunday, and Monday as well as we we have lots of cold air to get through set those trails up really nice. Our forecast then tonight though is snow ending around midnight, low temperatures down near 15 with an east breeze around five for tomorrow. It's Wednesday already. Probably cloudy skies, a bit breezy tomorrow, but falling temps through the afternoon. That west wind could gust near 21. And then looking ahead, your seven day forecast by Northwest Furniture and Mattress shows a drier stretch unfolding here. Thursday dry, Friday dry. There's New Year's Day with a high temperature of 12. Nate. Thank you, Jeff. A time capsule from 1887 was opened today. The capsule had been placed in the pedestal of a Robert E. Lee statue. The box was uncovered yesterday in Richmond, Virginia. State officials cut open the box on Tuesday to find a literal treasure trove of items. And those items included an edition of Harper's Weekly from 1865 with a full page image of a figure grieving over the grave of Abraham Lincoln. Other items included a shell fragment which is believed to be from the Battle of Fredericksburg, an envelope containing Confederate money, several books, including a Holy Bible with a coin pressed into its cover, a ribbon with Robert E. Lee's picture, and an almanac from 1887, plus much, much more. State historic resource officials and University of Virginia experts are now working to catalog and preserve the items that were found inside. President Joe Biden has been in office for over a year now. And coming up next on Newswatch 12 at 6, we'll take a look at the ups and downs from the administration in 2021. From all of us here at Weather Watch 12, thank you for trusting us with your weather forecast. We hope you have a happy and joyous holiday season and a very merry new year. And have a very safe holiday season coming on up and we'll be seeing you in the new year. Update the lighting in your home today during Menard's New Year's Sale. Shop our full selection of more than 7,000 interior lights. Patriot Lighting comes in a variety of unique styles and finishes. The Denzel Collection has an industrial style and comes in an oil-rubbed bronze finish. Pick up this four-light chandelier today for only $99.99. Come check out our entire selection of interior lights now during Menard's New Year's Sale. Save big money at Menard's. 
It's time for Drake's annual New Year's Eve seafood sale, one day only, December 30th. We have the hottest prices of the year on crowd pleasers like lobster tails, jumbo sea scallops, and new this year, colossal snow crab legs. Choose from dozens of varieties of holiday shrimp, including wild golf shrimp. Make it a surf and turf New Year with our certified Angus beef T-bones helping you celebrate in style. Stop by Triggs one day New Year's Eve seafood sale from 8 a.m. till 8 p.m. for best selection, December 30th at all Triggs locations. When searching for your next truck, you want your truck to last. Get the job done right with a Lens truck. We have them all. Half-ton trucks, Power Strokes, Cummins, Duramax, SUVs, over 800 to choose from. Know that all Lens trucks are fully inspected, certified clean, and can be bought hassle-free online. Go now to LensTruck.com. Lens Truck, Lens Truck, we got the trucks at Lens Truck. We got the trucks. The North Woods can be a hotbed of severe weather. To stay up to the minute on when and where storms will hit, tune in to the weather team you can count on. Weather Watch 12. Chief Meteorologist Jeff Weller and Meteorologists Devin Biggs and Andrew Keycaper break down severe weather live on WJFW, Facebook Live, and the WJFW Weather app so you and your family can be prepared and safe from severe weather. Weather Watch 12. From where you live. There's only one place to turn for your Northwood sports highlights, analysis, and more. Sports Watch 12 with Nate Myhawk and Griffin Stroy. Miss any of the action? Go to WJFW.com to relive the excitement. Sports Watch 12. It's been quite a first year for the Biden White House. Between massive ups and downs with a global pandemic, successes and challenges on Capitol Hill, Afghanistan, Russia, the climate, and more. NBC's Monica Alba looks back at President Biden's first year in office and explains what's ahead in 2022. Every president's first year in office tests the power of promise, marked with campaign pledges kept and those still unfulfilled. We're going to keep up the fight until we get it done. Before Joe Biden was even sworn in, he knew the coronavirus pandemic would largely define the beginning of his term. To heal, we must remember. Honoring the hundreds of thousands dead on the eve of his inauguration. This is Democracy's Day, a day of history and hope. The Biden-Harris administration launching a massive effort to get Americans vaccinated. It's time to act. We can reduce suffering in this country. Leading to the president's first legislative victory in March <laughs> in the form of a $1.9 trillion COVID relief bill. As 100 days in office marked more than 100 million COVID vaccine shots administered. Go get vaccinated, America. Still, many refused to roll up their sleeves. <laughs> even as new variants brought spikes and surges. It's become a political issue, which is a sad, sad commentary. The Biden administration's vaccine mandates for federal workers, contractors, and private businesses challenged in courts. It's not about just go and get the vaccine, it's about having the choice to get it. Rules and enforcement across the country a tangled web as U.S. COVID deaths topped 800,000 and normal never quite returned. Do not wait. Go get your booster if it's time for you to do so. Overseas, high stakes challenges on the world stage as the U.S. rejoined the Paris Agreement, the International Treaty on Climate Change. The United States is determined, determined to re-engage with Europe. While also placing sanctions on Russia ahead of a critical face-to-face -face summit with Vladimir Putin in Switzerland. Yet it was Afghanistan that would move front and center after the president announced his decision to withdraw all troops from the country by the 20th anniversary of September 11th. We'll do it responsibly, deliberately and safely. Underestimating how quickly the Taliban would take control, resulting in a chaotic and deadly evacuation. I am president of the United States of America and the buck stops with me. But I do not regret my decision to end America's war fighting in Afghanistan. The president followed up on his pledge to combat global warming at a major UN summit in Glasgow. We meet with the eyes of history upon us. 
Climate, also a key part of the president's domestic agenda, revoking a permit for the Keystone XL pipeline and halting new energy leasing in Alaska's Arctic National Wildlife Refuge. Also keeping his word when appointing a diverse cabinet and repealing the ban on transgender personnel in the armed forces. Transgender personnel, if qualified in every other way, can serve their government in the United States military. On Capitol Hill, after months of negotiations and Democratic infighting, a scaled back $1.2 trillion infrastructure bill is signed into law. America's moving again and your life is going to change for the better. While the second half of the president's economic agenda, a massive social spending and climate plan is now in limbo with no clear path forward, along with other major priorities still stalled in Congress. Free the vote! Like voting rights. The people need to form the, the people, people act! act. Yeah. Police reform. Ain't no justice in this town! Creating a pathway to citizenship. The promise of protection for immigrant families. Nothing has changed. And making Roe v. Wade the law of the land. Abortion still needs to be legal. With much still unfinished, the president will now take the country into a new year of change and challenges ahead of the critical 2022 midterm elections. Monica Alba, NBC News, The White House. Hello, my name is Terry and I'm from Phillips. I used to go on vacations with my wife Gail, but I couldn't go much over two hours and I'd have to stop and walk because my lower back would hurt so bad. So after my final treatment at Spinal Aid, I am pain free and can't imagine the pain and agony that I went through prior to going. Are you suffering with back or neck pain and considering the possibility of surgery? At the Spinal Aid Center of Wausau, we incorporate the latest technologies, including high-intensity laser therapy that provides the highest success rates in helping people just like you avoid back and neck surgery. With our treatments, there are no drugs and no surgery just relief. Call today for a free spinal disc severity consultation and see if our treatments are right for you. Call 715-203-4392 or visit us at spinalaid.com. Start living your life pain-free. Why choose People State Bank? Our digital tools make banking easy. Manage all your bills and payments with our online bill pay. Simple person-to-person -person payment, compatible with all major digital wallets. Misplace your debit card? Simply turn it off and on with the touch of a button. Put people's digital tools to work for you. Learn more at bankpeoples.com. Is your bathroom looking old and worn out? Want to update it, but you don't know where to start? Then let VCI Bath & Shower show you how to turn that old bath into an aisle of beauty and functionality. Our residential bathroom solutions provide the best value on the market, and our customer service is second to none. Our cost-effective VCI Bath & Shower family of products has what you need. Remodeling our bathroom was a big decision for us. They didn't make a mess out of our house at all. And at the end of the day, we had a beautiful new bathroom. And it was a great experience the whole way through. We have the best monthly payment programs in the industry, with payments as low as $68 per month, or no interest, no payments for 18 months. For a limited time, be one of the first 100 callers who schedule a free in-home consultation and receive $500 off. 1-800-908-7527. That's 1-800-908-7527. Factory trained and certified installers made in the USA and discounts for seniors and military. BCI Bath & Shower, the leader in affordable bathroom products. At Eagle Floor Covering in Eagle River, we have a knowledgeable staff, competitive pricing, and free estimates. Browse our selection of carpet, vinyl, wood, and tile for your next home project. All right, Nate, the snow shower is out there now. We'll wind down tonight, but the damage is done. The roads are covered with not a lot of snow, an inch or two across the area already. Maybe another inch or two before it's all said and done. We've certainly been through heavier snows, but the trails, the snow trails, love this stuff, followed by some much cooler temperatures around the way. But for now, advisories run through early parts of tomorrow morning. This is your tax dollar saying, hey, be careful out there driving tonight <laughs> because it's going to be slippery. And then looking ahead, your seven-day includes cold temperatures and probably dry 
through New Year's Day. Teens for highs this weekend. So it's going to get cold. Good cold. thing I just got a new ice scraper. I'm going to have to bust that you out got this. this weekend. So good we're time. good. Thanks, Jeff. Good Thanks for watching. We'll see you later tonight at 10.